What's up guys, Average QB Guy here, how y'all doing? So, day one of the of the conferences and stuff is over for E3. Uh, Bethesda have, have wrapped up their one. Um, I feel like it was, it was not the greatest one in the world for me personally. Uh, there were some highlights there, but it was, it was a very meh, um, uh, conference. Uh, but we're going to check out the Elder Scrolls Online uh, cinematic that they showed. Um, I'm an MMO fan. I've, I've, I've played a lot of MMOs, including Elder Scrolls Online. Um, so this will be my live reaction of that cinematic. Uh, and then it, the discussion afterwards is a post-recording. Uh, this is me recording it right now. So live reaction and then post-conference uh, uh, recording after that. Okay, so check it out. Let's see what they got here. I've dabbled in ESO. Dabbled, but not. Cinematics look legit. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Yo. Oh. We got dragons. We're going Game of Thrones on this. Whoa. So like a... Uh... Like a, a, a thief or something? I can't remember the classes in uh, ESO. Oh! That poor horse! Oh! Who's this dude? Oh. This guy's a badass. Oh, is this that new necromancer one? Okay. He's got like bone armor on. Ooh. Mage comes in. Rah! Oh. -ho -ho. Yo. Dude, that looked like freaking Doctor Strange. <laughs> Rah. Oh. What is this dude? Calvary's are right. Going up. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. That poor dragon. Yo, we're going full Game of Thrones here. Like, full Game of Thrones. Like, this is freaking, um... Rhaegar. Like, fully. This is going full Game of Thrones. Good work, kitty cats. You did a good job. Thank you, Moon Man. Heh, there's more dragons to be continued. All right, so for those wondering, is 
he is so like that like you fight and all the rest of it like that no <laughs> it's like every mmo like they do these cinematic trailers and they look badass as hell like wow does it even final fantasy 14 does it to a point they don't look like that <laughs> it doesn't look like that um like i've i have dabbled in eso i have dabbled in eso i've i've I, I i haven't been back for a long while i don't i've never like done max or anything like that max level or whatever the, the levels how those levels work they're very different to a lot of mmos and stuff um i will be honest like i am not the biggest like elder scrolls like world fan like that's not what draw like draws me in um like because i never played those games when they came out um back in the day like i i uh, it, they weren't a thing that i was i know like what was coming out around that time or something um i wasn't much of a gamer when i was young like really young um and then as i started to get more and more into it i was more of a shooter type kid so like, i think i got sort of deprived in a way <laughs> uh of those games which is a bit unfortunate but I've played Skyrim and stuff. I've played Skyrim and everything, but um, the uh, the other ones I haven't so much. But Elder Scrolls Online, uh, the time that I played in it, I did not mind. Um, it's definitely not my favorite MMO. My favorite MMO is Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and I honestly maybe put WoW above it too, just personally. Uh, the the combat felt a little bit off to me. Um, pers just, just, just just the way the the sort of stamina works and the way that the the abilities worked and stuff um i'm more like used to having like a you know three hot bars full of abilities that i can um sort of wield and have different rotations and stuff where this felt a little more like i'm sure there are rotations and stuff like in it but it felt a little bit different in a way that i was used to so um but i mean the worlds and stuff the quests all of its vo voice acted and everything if you are interested in elder scrolls in any shape or form and you love mmos like this is probably something that you should be checking out um it, it it's it was a beautiful world when i was running around in it i really did but i just don't have that that nostalgia that like that draw into that world as much as what these uh, my other mmos do so um, but this, like, in the cinematic, the cinematic was amazing. It was really, really good. Um, the quality of it, the fighting, all the rest of it, showing off the different abilities and, and everything, sort of matching up with how, like, you know, WoW does this with their, their um, cinematics. Like, we recently had one with Safe Haven. Uh, for Final Fantasy XIV does the same thing with their Shadowbringers trailers at the moment. Like, they, they're good hype trailers. Like, that's what these trailers are for. They're to create hype. They're to get you into the game and make you interested in the game. So, on terms of that, yeah. Very, very good. Very Game of Thrones inspired, I will say. <laughs> I'm sure, like, they had started this, like, the amount of work that goes into these things. Um, they would have... It would have... They would have been working on it far before uh, Game of Thrones, um, the sort of the season was going on, I'm sure. Um, but there were many like moments where i was like that happened in <laughs> that happened in in game of thrones and that happened in game of thrones <laughs> so yeah that that was a thing um but yeah uh does it want does it draw me back into elder scrolls online i mean i know what it's like and i i'm, I'm not so much but I mean, if you're looking for an, uh, an MMO or something and you are interested in Elder Scrolls, it's probably a good thing to check out. Um, I know a lot of people look at it and go, this is the reason why ES6 does not, uh, was not being so heavily pushed. Um, yeah, it's pro probably a big reason, to be honest with you. Um, I think even someone came out and said it quite recently that because of ESO, that's kind of the way it's worked. But yeah. Uh, everyone's interpretations everyone's thing um they have come a long way though eso eso has come a long way because i played it at launch and when i played it again uh it would have been about four or five months ago it was very very different seemed a lot better it seemed a lot more um sort of f like it, it had a lot more focus to it and it had a lot more polish and it had a lot more stuff in it so it was it was definitely on a better track um so yeah fair enough
Um, Cinemac was good. Cinemac was really good. I, I enjoyed it. But yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for us. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you are new here, have a look around the channel. We're doing E3 stuff all over the place. We'll be over all three days. Um, well, pretty much all through the week. I mean, anything com cool that comes out after the conferences, I'll be checking that out as well. So we'll be all over that. Um, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll keep up to date with all the new stuff that comes out. Uh, yeah, our reaction videos and stuff for, for E3 will be like this, where I have my live reaction of the, as the conference was going, and then my recorded stuff um, after that sort of edited in around it. So that's kind of how we're going with it. So I hope you're enjoying. Uh, and yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Bye.